What is going on everyone? Welcome back to, well, it's more of like an update video on Mitch's 105. Um, I'm just gonna turn the camera to him and let him explain it. Because there's a few new things. It looks the same on the outside. It has been a while since you've seen this car. Six months or so, might probably longer. A bit too long. Too long, yeah. yeah. Finally come back from the getting the conversion done. So it's now powered by LS3. I've got a six speed auto behind it as well. Fair bit of other stuff on the go that's already been ordered as well that's going to happen soon so actually getting a working winch again which will be good <laughs> <laughs> got a set of set of traps ordered as well so yeah probably next time it's in the video i'll be running some traps which would be good was meant to get a new tray as soon as it come back but that fell through because I've, i missed my my time window with dozfab so i think yeah early next year that's that's going to happen yeah i mean yeah just some bits and pieces that i need to fix up after the conversion so it's currently currently a two-wheel drive it's got the front the front drive shaft pulled out um, just because we had, had a couple of clearance issues. Yeah, I should get that sorted in the next few days. At the moment, where oh, I suppose you're getting your snorkel done, and yeah. I'll drop my car off up for a while after that, and it's going to get a snorkel and airbox done. Yeah, so we're filming this video at the same time that my yeah. snorkel's getting done, which was the last video. Yeah. So Mitch's car will be dropped off and get a snorkel and air yeah, box well, and everything, yeah. which will be snazzy. It'll be good. So hopefully allow it to breathe better as well with a big motor and both help finish off the conversion. So that'll be it'll be unreal. So what was the reasoning behind an LS3? Uh, Just dreams? Yeah, I suppose. I've been talking about it since I was 16 and finally had the means to make it happen. So bit the bullet and and did it. A lot of people, I don't know, say you should put this motor or that motor or whatever in it, but Whatever makes you smile. Yeah, for me, I don't know. I've <laughs> always, always been a petrol boy, so that ruled out most of the options and just the, I suppose, the reliability of the of the LS motors. It's been done a million times before. You know, if anything goes wrong, it's not a problem that somebody else hasn't had or hasn't had. So I'm not worried about reinventing the wheel. I just want power. I want it to be cheap to fix if it pops. And yeah, LS just sort of ticked all the boxes and power all the time, not waiting for boost to come on or anything like that. Oh, what are you doing there? You got a stick. You got a big stick. A big stick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're rather away. But yeah, so I don't know. I always, always thought that LS would be the go, and LS3 was oh, what I thought to be the the best option while remaining sensible. So yeah, yeah and, and come with a come with a good gearbox as well to put behind it. Yeah. It all matches up perfectly. The um, oh, the shorter first gear really helps with um, oh, the low range sort of stuff. I haven't, haven't actually taken it properly bush yet, but I imagine yeah. I'm... You've only had this car for like three days. Yeah, not long. Yeah. So yeah. I can't really give you any serious opinions. Apart well, from, it, it is pretty quick on the road. And it drives, yeah. The, the motor and box work, well they seem to work very well on the road. Mm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> fix, a, fix a few things up. It's probably still going to be a month before it can go actual four-wheel driving. Where yep. Oh, we just done a bit of two-wheel drive, four-wheel driving today. Yeah, that's it. just thought we'd film him driving across the river and I just realised we are waiting for the dogs to drive yeah. and now the dogs are soaked. Yeah, I'm not taking it for them. I'm going to do a little two-wheel drive quick skinny video. It is pretty quick. Like, when you're in it, you're like, this car shouldn't be going this fast. It's not a car that's designed to have power. I personally do quite like it. Ah, it's good fun and it drives real nice. Everyone knows what an LS looks like, but you want to open it up anyway. Sure, yeah. there, there is one special thing under there, and I'm sure yeah, you'd like to talk it, about it. That's my favourite bit. <laughs> Something I've wanted I'm probably as long as I've wanted the LS. So, pretty much what we've got going on, which is the reason why the airbox that the conversion mob was going to put in didn't fit, is I've got that endless air set up over here. So that's it's just a sand and aircon compressor that's been modified 
more or less to just pump air as an air compressor. So it's similar to what Adam's got on his car, but mm. it's, yeah, instead of being an off-the-shelf thing because I suppose there's not many people wanting to put air compressors on their Commodores. <laughs> it's yeah, all, all custom made. So when the conversion was getting done, Rob sorted that out. I think when Matt builds me the airbox from Mad Fab, he's going to be putting in, I suppose, like a, a little air hose connection in, into the clean side of the airbox. So instead of just running this little filter, I'll run a heat proof hose around and into the back of the airbox. So even underwater, that'll be able to pump air if, if need be. Yeah, it, it does need the airbox. Yeah, it's still running the, the genuine Toyota one. Yeah, so that's essentially the exact same thing that's on my car, just slightly different yeah. models or whatever. Same idea, yeah. Um, and it hauls ass. Oh, my word it does, yeah. yeah. So being be the LS, you can't, there's no idle lever or switch or knob or anything that you can, you can turn, but even idling at about 600 RPM, it's pumping out a fair bit of air. Mm. And even if you are, uh, just jam a stick between the, the chair and the and the throttle and sit at about 50 and 100. I don't know, we'll have to do a, a comparison video between that and a 12 volt compressor, but it's, it's, oh, it's not, definitely not faster. Yeah, and you could yeah. probably probably pump up all four tyres before like your average ARB compressor's done one. When it's just Sam and I that goes out and he's got his traps, Sam will pump up two of his traps and I'll pump up all four of my tyres and two of his traps. Yeah. That's that's how fast it is. So. Well, more or less, it's effectively a 400 horsepower compressor. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's good. And then obviously, well, as with all LS conversions, I suppose, the alternator's been moved up high, but it's on the driver side instead of the passenger side due to it being, yeah, I suppose, having in that endless air. Yeah. So they normally sit up here, and then yeah, normally you can fit the big air box, which is why I ran into dramas with that. But Matt's going to sort that out for us, and... Um, God, Matt from Mad Fab, go yeah. follow. Yeah, I've already seen, I've seen photos and videos of my last snorkel already. And yeah, and we... Yo, like seamless, just yeah. oh, shiny. Delicious. Oh, jeez, it's good. I can't wait to get that on. Still running aircon as well, down the bottom. Yeah, me, uh... Where's your cap going? Oh, the old washer fluid cap. Didn't even, didn't come with one, and I haven't put one on. Oh. So. <laughs> Don't really, don't really care too much about <laughs> that, to be honest. Yeah, more or less, everything else is still, still the same. Still got a, a winch that doesn't work, and... Yep. Everything else on the outside is the same, but you're hoping to update all that soon. Yeah, I would. When you can. I want, I want to update the canopy to a one with a dog box at some stage, but it's just a, it's a lot of money for something that I kind of already have. Yeah. So I'm, I'm struggling to uh, justify doing that. But, but right but now, there's there's no plan to supercharge it right now, but maybe in the future. Is well, that correct? If, if my brother's car ends up quicker, yeah. it might to get a supercharger. <laughs> oh, his car's in the, one of the cockpit videos, the 76 series. Yeah, there's so a that, few changes to that from since then, but. Yeah, it's got a G turbo and all sorts of funky business going yeah. on, but I reckon I've still got it. But if I don't. It's pretty quick. Yeah, if I don't, I suppose I'll have to uh, put a blower on. <laughs> the old brotherly competition. Yeah, but for now, it's just gonna be a matter of um, well, the winch is already ordered, that should rock up this week. Airbox and snorkel are getting done this week. I would like to get the rear diff lock pretty soon. And I've heard that the trap's already at Treadwork, so I'm just not sure if he's got rims or anything on the go. So yeah. He was looking into it when I, when I spoke to him a couple of weeks ago, so hopefully he's got it sorted and, and he'll give me a call up soon. This thing will be hard to keep up with on and off the road. Hopefully, when yeah. it's all When it's all gone. But yeah, that's like an update on Mitch's car. Uh, it's like fresh, fresh back. Yeah. So this is the first time I've seen it. Um, so there's plenty of things to still do to sort out issues and whatnot. That's what's happening with the car. It's back. And that's it's the back. Main thing, yeah. yeah, it's half back. That's what's new with it. Um, you'll definitely. It'll obviously be in the videos. Mitch is always in the videos, but not recently because he doesn't have a car. Bit of LS power on the Living 4x4 channel now. Yeah. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Catch you guys there. Cup of coffee on the car floor.